Hello everybody, um, we are live. Our voices can be heard. I am Sage, and I have the fantastic developer Deep Flame here. Hello everyone. If you don't know who Deep Flame is, he's basically the guy who took Medieval Engineers, which is a decent game, and is truly making it into something incredible. It's, uh, <laughs> it went from something a lot of people just ignored, to I even stopped paying attention, to really coming back to something just magical in so many ways. Well, not literally magical, it's based in medieval times, there's not really magic in the game. But it is a fantastic experience now, and you should be able to see my display in just a second. Yeah, thank you very much. It's uh, nice to hear these uh, words. You're know, working very hard. Uh, and if you hear any dishes in the background, that's because Deep Flame has, uh, he's at home, right? Yes, I am at home. So you'll have and... to bear with the dishes to see the shovels. <laughs> Which is why we're here today, because uh, the game is going to be having shovels added to it very soon. Uh, if you see on my screen, you should be able to see I've pasted a bunch of them around iron shovels, as well as, if we were to fly over here, wooden shovels. Now, I am on a development build of the game right now, so there's a few things that are a bit finicky. One is I'm in creative mode because, for some reason, the shovel stopped working for me in survival. It wouldn't let me place stuff, but either way, it'll be fixed by the time it comes out to you guys. I'm absolutely sure of that. Deep Flame and his development team for Medieval Engineers are fantastic. Yes, I am absolutely sure we'll fix that one. Anyway, what is the point of a shovel, you might be asking? Well, a lot of people could probably guess right away. It's something I've been wanting for a long time, saying shovel, rake, something. Uh, and I have two in our inventory here, a wooden one and an iron one. And the most basic thing you can do with a shovel is left-click on dirt, and you'll actually pick it up. So if we were to open our inventory here, you can see we got dirt showing up into our inventory, and uh, it works pretty logically. Just left-click and pick up. The best thing, though, is you can also go ahead, and let me just clear some of this up. It actually is fantastic, by the way. I love how quickly you can clean stuff up. I hope you'll actually leave it being this quick, because to clear dirt, mm -hmm. it was always a bit disappointing to have to use a pickaxe and take a very long time. But one yeah, of the best we are, things... We are quite happy with the... I, I'm, it's quite a good break right now. We're still okay. tweaking it, but... It's probably not going to end up insanely slower, is what you're saying. No. Good. It's just, it's fantastic. Uh, otherwise, it just becomes a drag to, to shovel things. And, mm. you know. But anyway, I just cleared out a whole room, which means you can build your house now, and if it's got bits of ground sticking through there, you can now clear it out more easily. I probably should have hoed the ground first to get rid of any of the grass before I did that, though, but um, what's done <laughs> is done. I should have thought of that first, but oh, it was me. Anyway, let's go ahead and head outside. I can yeah, show uh, some more of this. Well, you can always uh, use the alternate uh, approach, and then you can replow it, and then you can redig it. Yeah, that's true. Uh, because the, one of the things with the shovel is, too, you can place terrain, which uh, I can't actually place it through stone. It looks like, am I correct to say you cannot actually place dirt on any structure you've built? Yes, correct. You can only shovel directly on the on the foxholes, because otherwise people would be building... Uh, because structural integrity ties into the foxholes, so if you start building on blocks, you have flying foxholes, especially if your building ever collapses or is cleaned up. Uh, right, you would have dirt just floating. Yeah, a floating pieces of dirt. So to be clear, that's a no-go on placing dirt on top of things. Now you might be able to do it sort of like this and bury something, where you can right-click to yes. place the dirt from your inventory and bury stuff like that, so you could slowly, slowly make your way up. But I've also noticed you seem to have some stuff in place to prevent us from just right-clicking and building towers straight up, where if I continue right-clicking like this, after a while it sort of stops going up quite as steeply. Like right here it's yes. being pretty good, but it's stopped right here. I can't go any farther. Yeah, there is a basic, um, what's the word? Like we, we check the, the angle of the terrain, and if the angle of the terrain exceeds a certain uh, point, then you cannot uh, add more soil. So you will have to add more soil in a wider radius around your uh, uh, hill so that it right. gets uh, nice and gradual. It's pretty nice too because it actually works, you know, like a big ancient... Uh dirt temple as they used to build i think so you won't just end up with the pillar straight up you'll end up with those temples if you decide to build something dirt now that said i did oh and also you can't place directly under yourself or over dynamic objects but i did find one way around this earlier when i was messing about and that's this tower over here and the well, way you can i still dig down yeah i can still get the uh, pillar effect <laughs> 
Yeah, that's not actually what I did here. See, there's something else in this update which is pretty fantastic. The landscape stake. You'll notice that I had built this thing out and I had to build another one here exactly the same and I used the shovel to fill it in and look how perfectly flat it is. That's because this new thing that's been added, the landscape stake. You simply left click this and you can put it down either on terrain or on whatever you've built. And then you go back with a rope and left click through all of these. I did notice that uh, if I aim at one of these already connected, it shows the scissor thing. I think that's supposed to be on the right side of the little mouse, right? Uh, you need to slow down a bit because I cannot oh, see your screen yet. Very sorry. It uh, takes a second uh, for the stream to catch up. But if you don't know, Deep Flame uh, is watching my stream to know what I'm doing. So there will be a little delay there every now and yes. again. Um, basically, you can... I guess the icon... Yeah, no, it looks like the icon is incorrect. Yeah, but, it's supposed to be on the right side where you right click to get rid of it. I think, correct? Ah. Uh, People are seeing the, the rope connection uh, animation and uh, effect. Yeah, there's a fancy rope animation now. It's pretty and... good. I also like how the character just holds it. It feels like Indiana Jones almost. Mm -hmm. If only it was a whip. <laughs> well, you can try and uh, mod that one in. Oh god. Uh, I could make the art for it, not necessarily the code. Anyway, if you put in uh, three or four of these landscape things, like if we were to go over here and just put three in, you can go ahead and link them together with a rope, as I just did on the other point. There we go. Switch me off of it for a second. And once they're all connected up, you'll notice it sort of makes this little triangular or square glowing area. Yes. Right there. But and, you'll and only see that when holding a shovel, right? Yes, and this area indicates that it successfully managed to create um, a, a area in which it will do the detection. Um, you will also see that the ropes will highlight uh, on the area you're aiming at. So if you have multiple of these ropes uh, connected uh, to each other, uh, like let's say you make a, make a square and then you divide your square by connecting it in half, uh, then you can see which one you're aiming at through the highlight of the ropes. And then you can uh, easily see like in which, which segment you will be working at when you start uh, clicking in the left or right. Now you don't have to place uh, uh, extra stakes, you can actually connect... Uh, oh wow, so I can make a different stakes. grid, like yes, you this. Can, you can use the... so, so this should then make three different grids, correct? Uh, well, I need to see what's going on because there's uh, yeah, a delay. Yeah, a second, but... Uh, yeah, basic, yeah, but uh, it seems that that should work. And if you now equip the shovel, yeah, now you see all the, the, the things. And if you look at the, aim at the middle grid like this, then you can see that the ropes are highlighted, so you can see in which area you will be working. It's pretty cool. That's very cool, actually. Very, very cool. Very nice. And then, of course, uh, we can left-click, and it doesn't seem to want to dig when I left-click in these zones, I've noticed. But I am able to right-click, and it brings the terrain up to this level that we've set up, up to that plane that we've created. Mm -hmm. What it actually does is all your operations will, uh, like, for example, digging, will only cut up to the, the plane. Like, anything uh, below the plane will not get uh, dug. Anything above the plane does get dug. And with filling, it's the exact opposite. Anything below the plane gets filled up. Anything above the plane doesn't actually fill up. Right. So if I was to do a little tiny cheat right here and just use like a voxel hand thing to build actually, this, you can hold up down the shift key. If you hold down the shift key with the shovel, it will ignore the planes. Oh, okay. Well, I was just thinking, um, I could do something like this, just to demonstrate. If we then switch back to the shovel. I should be able to dig this out, but like you were saying, it'll only go down to that plane we've added in, correct? Mm -hmm. And then it won't go back down farther. You'll be seeing it in a second. There we go. Right, and of course, because of the angle, sometimes it can be a bit finicky getting it to start go down, but once it's going down, yeah, looks like it's made it back to where it was pretty much. Awesome. Such a useful thing for leveling out farms and all that. Mm -hmm. So one of the questions here is uh, about, oh, hang on. 
um, the the was about the performance of the the landscaping stakes. So they don't actually do anything. Um, the performance is is not uh, going to be affected by the stakes themselves. And uh, even the the shovel, the way it detects which uh, which plane to use, is really fast. So it's it's basically completely fine. You can even use these things as uh, decorative, for example, uh, along the edges of your bridges, for example. I get the way to make it look like you're not going to fall off because you got railing, yeah. even though you would still walk through the rope. I'm of course, they have no physics at all. Which, of course, is good for performance, too. But they, they totally don't need to have physics. It uh, mm -hmm. doesn't contribute to the game, and pulling it only makes stuff... Like it like that would actually affect the performance, and and we thought that this uh, this kind of landscaping stake is actually kind of like uh, this is how you would uh, actually dig straight uh, areas in in real life. You would put down a few stakes, uh, tie some string in between, and you would just aim at not going underneath it or above it or whatever you want. Right, to you would mark out do. your area and sort of fill it in or dig it down if it was too high. Works pretty well. Yeah, and, and also this system allows you to very easily cooperate with your friends. So you can just make your area and then everybody can start shoveling. Alright, so it works well in multiplayer then too. It won't have any weird mm -hmm. syncing things like only the person who set it up can see it or anything silly like that. Nope, it's shared with everybody and Fantastic. everybody can, uh, can just shovel as they please. Now you don't have to remove these or anything to farm, you can just leave them be, correct? Yeah, you, they they don't do anything. They just sit there. Um, maybe in survival, you actually want to pick them up because it's resources. And uh, right. I think Keep they reusing them. sticks and rope to craft. So for the most part, uh, you can kind of keep them there. They won't they won't hurt you. Nice. And just to prove how useful these are, I'm just gonna make one more little farm plot here instead of fiddling about with that weird wooden one. The reason I had built the wooden farm area there, just to show that these things can be placed onto pretty much anything. The only thing I haven't tested is, can you place these on a uh, mobile grid? Like a small vehicle, basically, that you would build and push it um, around. I think it has to be a static object. But, static, uh, okay. So if we were to break, let's say, that wood over there free, it probably just wouldn't work anymore. Uh, we'll see how it goes. I've, we haven't actually tested it. Or rather, no, let's I test it right it. now, then. Okay. Well, yeah, as, as, uh, as you can see, it's, uh, there's still some work in progress. So yeah, so. Let's see how it uh, works out. And of course, there's the. I guess I can occasionally see the new uh, crafting screen. And... Yes, because in this most recent version, it's also had some updates to crafting and inventory. You can actually queue stuff up now, which is something I was really hoping for. I'm really excited about that. And the queue will stay uh, retained when you close the screen. Yeah, it'll keep building stuff, right? Anywhere. I mean, we could just, mm -hmm. um, I get myself a log here really quick. Uh, do I have an axe on me? I don't believe I do. I'll just, uh, use a little magic here. Uh, spawn into inventory. There we go. And since I've been creative, I can just create a bunch yeah, of these. Yeah, Steam Engineers. These, uh, these markers are for creating, uh, flat areas. And uh, this is also a really good way, for example, to make ramps or to make, uh, your farm's nice and flat. We used it uh, to uh, build a nice, uh, what's the word, like uh, entry to our castle. Okay, so that works. Let's go ahead and break this now. Ah, so that's what happened. Oh, I'm sitting here in anticipation. Yep, I'll wait till you uh, see what happened. Here we go. Ah, they stay flying. So, uh, you have any plans on how that'll be changed in the future? Will they just simply all just disappear or break? Well, uh, I, I'm pretty sure that they know the parent that they were parented to when they were placed. So when their parent uh, becomes dynamic, the stakes will just... Uh, either they will go dynamic along with it, or they will just disconnect. Right. Uh, we'll have to discuss with the team how we're going to solve it. And it does look like that I cannot place them on dynamic objects, so... Right Alrighty, and you can see we did flatten this farm out, lickety-split, when we were up here earlier. Just using these, it prevents you from 
going higher or digging lower when you get the shovel out. So cool that. It, it's... <laughs> I didn't know how you guys were going to do it. I thought maybe it was going to be something like the voxel things where you just have to manually try to smooth it out, but this works incredibly well. It's great. Yeah. Manually shoveling it out for, for our, like, actually one of the guys before we had the stakes uh, fully implemented, one of our testers just sat at his desk uh, shoveling for like an hour and he said, this is great. We should just bring uh, out a new game called Shovel Engineers and just make it all about shoveling. Well, I'm glad you didn't leave it at just that. These things are um, <laughs> as cool as that might have been. I really like the ability to more easily flatten terrain. Yeah, this is a very, very uh, user-friendly way of flattening terrain. And I really like uh, the way it's working now. Now, earlier I did mention this thing over here, and that's where I found a way to sort of make an earthen pillar. And I know I just was flying and now I'm jumping, but... um. But I found a way using these little marker things to slowly build it up. Because I found it will let you pull terrain more directly up than it would otherwise. Using the landscape stakes. Let's go ahead and finish the connecting these real quick. That's actually interesting because it actually... Uh, I believe it uses the same uh, uh, logic. But that uh, could be circumventing some rules. Uh, it's a bit um, finicky yeah. sometimes, but I was able to get it as far up as you can see here just by doing this. This one I think I built too high up, but you can see I had it down there where it kept going up and up. Well, exploits, I guess. <laughs> yeah, sorry. It's just, uh, I did notice this though. Um, this is just too high up to reach it, but before I was able to reach down through these and basically do that. And it was able to reach, pull stuff all the way up. Maybe now it's not doing it and it's making me a fool, so maybe it's fixed itself. Well, Maybe it's uh, actually, uh, maybe you just found some random bug and now it's working correctly. Yeah, it was a one-time bug and it's gone now. Let me try one more. Oh, no, not right there. Right here. Right here. I, I want to, I wanna, see, now I feel a fool. I have to prove that it was there. It was happening. <laughs> so, so Orange, uh, actually the voxels you can uh, build dirt on, actually, it, it, Right now, there's, uh, I think the shovel itself in the definition specifies where you can shovel and cannot shovel. Like specifically digging is constrained to soil, but you can put soil on uh, pretty much everything because we don't have any fossils that say that are uh, like trans translucent or like the, they don't have collision. So it, it makes sense that you can deposit earth everywhere. Oh, something fell off there. Yeah, removing a few pieces. Well, looks like it's just not doing it anymore. It's made me a fool. But yeah, I was able to get this far. I guess it, um, the game even fixes itself now. How did you code that? Mm -hmm. It's because I'm watching, so it behaves. Yeah, it's like, no, I'm not going to piss daddy off. Uh, well, uh, anyway, yeah. assume that doesn't work. Um, I did have this whole area set up here. We can go ahead and set that back up. Just to show that you can do pretty large areas with all of this. There is no range uh, limitation on it. You can make your, your quad uh, planet-wide if you want to really uh, walk. Um, I think, uh, I think yeah, it might even maintain the rope connection through fast traveling. So you can make really large areas, but it has no impact on performance even still, which is, uh, which is great. Which is yes, there are many exploits possible with uh, with the, the shovel tool right now. Like for example, the 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 most uh, obvious one is uh, of course uh, shoveling in your claim block. Um, this is something we'll be solving in the future. It's not something we'll be addressing right now. It's for the most part, if the in the multiplayer games we've uh, observed, it's it's it won't really be an issue. Most of the times, uh, people demolish it, just break in parts, and they uh, they just to take uh, the resources. Or the admins take a step in, and they're like, okay, well, behave. Right, because currently, claim blocks prevent you from messing with the other person's voxels, don't they? Um, yes, you cannot dig in there. Right. Is there any plans for maybe changing that in the future to where you can't dig stone, but you could dig dirt? Uh, not specifically, but we, we do have uh, some some other plans uh, with regards to uh, 
how this these areas will behave but this is something that uh, i'm not going to go into too much detail right now something for the future all right of course there's other other uh, bugs like or exploits like uh, for example with the structural integrity that you can um, basically build along uh, and, and somehow kind of generate um, what's the word like infinite uh, no not infinite like but you can you can boost your structural integrity this way but because there is a slope requirement on the soil you are filling it does mean that you cannot uh, just build straight up straight into your tower and create a super tall ta pillar of right you can't create structural integrity super pillars yes and you cannot bury yourself because um, if you uh, fill soil too close to yourself it will tell you that you cannot deposit uh, soil near uh, near you oh did you just get launched yeah i, I got yeah. launched there <laughs> that uh, means that we probably should increase the the character detection radius just a little bit more because All right. it, uh, it tries to um it, it uh, when, when what happens is just like in that corner as well as you can see you have very difficult looking uh, voxels and the physics engine i can will actually get into a state where it detects you uh, are in into multiple voxels and it will just try to solve it by boosting you up the gravity vector which in this case means that you may or may not get certain level of airborne <laughs> right and also, but, I've run into this little hole here. I'm having trouble filling it in at all. Hmm. Well, there, there. It's like uh, there are still some uh, specific areas where it's actually really hard to detect the voxel you're aiming at. Uh, what happens if you uh, hold down the shift key and just ignore the plane for a second? Does it help with uh, filling the voxels? Oops. Here we yes, go yes, it does help. I just did that. Yep. And yeah, it sent me flying. In. Okay, so. That's just basically, that's not an issue in the game. It's just a learning curve there where you have to sometimes realize that, okay, if I want to fill this up, it's best to ignore the plane that I've put in for leveling until I get closer to the plane, maybe, and then start using it. And, and sometimes you have to remove soil and add it again and remove it and add it. It's, uh, it's still, uh, it's just shoveling is a little bit of a, uh, a bit of manual labor, but it's like <laughs> that in real life too, so. Yeah, almost sounds like a game mechanic. <laughs> yeah. I suspect people, once they've had their hands on this for a while, will be able to fill things in quite a bit quicker than I am right now. Yeah, yeah. once you kind of get the hang of how the voxels uh, work and how they align, it's actually quite easy to uh, to, to, to voxel larger areas, to, to fill up larger areas like this. Uh, but you kind of need to get the feeling for it. Right. So even though I'm on a slope, I can I get the idea of how how much of a slope I need to start building this part up to where it needs to be. So I'd maybe start over here and fill it in a little bit, and a little bit more, and then right straight up over here, I'd assume. Right. And and in survival, of course, all the uh, digging gives you dirt, and uh, filling costs dirt. So you cannot just magically make voxels appear. You will actually have to remove them from somewhere else first. And it is pretty easy to dig to with the shovel, as we showed at the house when we first started, but also I have a little cave over here where we can just left click and show that we very, very quickly chop down into the earth. Very, very quickly. And this will also be something someone else did ask earlier, is no, you can't dig into the mountains. You can see we hit right here and it just says shovel not suitable for digging here. Yeah, and you will see that the, the aiming, the, the icon, the red icon, will actually show a slightly different uh, icon than when you're aiming at somewhere that uh, is just blocked for whatever reason. That's a change I've seen with a lot of the icons in the game too, where it actually gives you an idea of, you know, it's your left and right click are what those two icons sort of signify, but it tells you if you can and cannot do that. Like right now it says we cannot shovel here, we cannot place here. Right. And then because the icon also changes the shape, you can also see uh, why you cannot shovel. When you are in someone else's area, for example, it will have a consistent uh, display of, okay, so you cannot uh, shovel because there's no permissions. If you've uh, dug out a mountain and decide you want to cover the mountain back up, you can right click to place it over the stone again, correct? And you can fill soil on top of stone. Any voxel, basically. Yeah, if you are depositing material, 
it you can deposit uh, it on top of anything you cannot dig the stone because it's stone not with the shovel can, at least uh, cover it up you can cover it up with dirt you cannot cover it up with with stone you cannot make stone voxels but you can make uh, you can just put the dirt back on so if you find some um, uh, iron ore for example um, you can shovel that and then you can close off your mine or you can make uh, hidden caves and i don't know well, uh, this is actually where the progression uh, uh, change that uh, I hinted at in the update video on Tuesday uh, starts to come in. The, we've, we've removed the poor iron ore, as in the, the hard metal rock ore from the, from the game, and replaced it with um, iron ore soil. So what this means is that early in the game, uh, you can make only a shovel because it's made out of wood, and there's no way to get to large stones. So you actually have to uh, get iron ore be uh, to make iron tools before you can start carving stone for your uh, stone castles. So in this single change has turned uh, large stones from the most worthless assets to one of the more valuable assets in the game. So basically the poor yield stuff will now give you dirt as well as iron, right? Yes. And you only need a shovel instead of needing a uh, actual axe proper, pickaxe. Correct. And then you you can uh, use this uh, iron ore to smelt and make your new axes or pickaxes. Right. Very useful. Very very useful. Well, I quite love these shovels. And uh, of course, um, there now now we have uh, quite a bit of dirt in the game, so. One of the things that I will be uh, that will probably be in one of the earlier uh, life cycle updates for zero five will be a dirt stockpile that you can put on your cart so you can move your dirt around. I was noticing that earlier that um the dirt stock the small stone stockpiles that you have for vehicles carts whatever you have uh, currently it looks like you can actually put dirt into them as well as the iron ore. Well, that depends. Um, Right now, the model of the, the dirt bag is too large to properly fit in there. Oh, it, it fits in there? Yeah, right now it's, it's fitting, it's and it's showing it's just stone right now. Ah, okay. Well, there's large stones even, so they're sticking out. Yeah, yeah, you can see that uh, happened a bit there. They're not, uh, they're not uh, meant to be... Uh, <laughs> it's not going to be like that come release. And and I think we are miss we we have a definition error that it doesn't show the the, the sandbag. Uh, model. All right, so, all right. So it's supposed to be a sandbag model, not just stone. Got you. Yes. And then in the future we won't be able to put it in the stone store. It'll have its own thing. You're saying. Mm -hmm. All right. Because I did uh, notice I couldn't even put them into the, the large ones, so it's something to do with just the small ones. Yeah, that's that's kind of interesting. But I think that's just a whitelisting error. Right. They were probably copied out of a stone, and using the new tag system, it just automatically allows you to put it in there. Because that's one thing we've also edited in, added, added in this, uh, this uh, upcoming update, is that uh, inventory constraints can work by tags, not just by uh, exact definition. So let's say you as a modder would introduce a new uh, ore, uh, you can tag it as an ore, and it would just automatically be allowed to go into the ore stockpile without having to mod the ore stockpile. All right. Uh, I did ha have another question about... Where was it? I saw my inventory a second ago. It was tool uh, weapons racks. Might we get a tool rack in the future? I have nothing against adding a tool rack uh, in the future. Is when I was setting up this world, I was like, I'm going to have a dozen shovel racks. Just shovel. And I found I couldn't put them in there. And I was like, oh, well. It's the reason why when we started, they were just on a table. And of course, simply floating items like that now despawn after a while. Also, I found I can't seem to exit this menu. I've typed in weapon just to find uh, it. Yeah, you need, to, you need to click on one of the tab buttons. Oh. Like one of the, the, the grid elements. And then the focus goes out of the chat box. The text box, and then you can press. Yeah, it. yeah. Okay. I was. I figured it's escape would just do that. <laughs> it's a. Uh, it's kind of high priority on our to-do list to to fix. Alrighty. That's one of the things I love is that you guys actually. Go and fix so many things. It seems. I. I, I just don't. Know. <laughs> uh, it would be a shame to to leave everything broken, right? 
Yeah. So when are you going to clone yourself and send that clone over to the Space Engineers team? Uh, cloning technology is not uh, so uh, reliable right now. Ah, curses. But uh, anyway... Uh... Uh, is there any plan to make it so dirt isn't as structurally sound as, let's say, stone? So if your structure is touching only dirt instead of going all the way down to stone, it might make a difference? Um... Well, uh, there's no plans for that because I had never uh, specifically thought about that uh, uh, until you asked me this question. So <laughs> there are no plans for that right now. All right. Uh, it does. Uh, it it does uh, raise an interesting uh, thought. So it's something to uh, something to consider. I I don't know if it's even possible or if it. Uh, would work out because right now that the way structure integrity works is that when it touches the voxel the integrity is set to infinite or rather it, it is not affected by uh, yeah basically by, whatever it is it's structural integrity is one and it drops down off of that basically I, I I'm, I'm, I'm not sure if it's uh, if it's a good idea because it makes it kind of complicated for people to understand and right without, and then new people would be able to lose their stuff yeah, without making a very clear assemble on the, uh, assemble, very clear explanation on how this works, it will become very difficult for people to understand uh, how the voxels work, and I think it will be confusing. More interesting idea would be, I think, to play with uh, something like uh, uh, adding some kind of structural integrity to voxels, if that's at all possible. And I have no idea how that would work, but that would be, uh, in my opinion, more interesting. I would agree. That would definitely be more interesting. If that ever did come to fruition, might we even see like different types of soil, some that have more structural integrity than others? Uh, who knows? There's currently no design for it, so... Mm, well, fingers crossed that it might become a thing sometime down the line. Yep. Well, we will see. We have uh, lots of uh, other plans and ideas for the game, and we really have to pick uh, the most... Uh important features first and then uh, polish it because you know we want to we want we we, are really, we really strive to make the game uh, as polished and user friendly and <laughs> as bug free as possible but you know we are still uh, we still have a lot of uh, code from uh, from from the old days that we are cleaning up right now which is actually a big thing we did in this update is we, we removed so much code from the game that uh, without removing any features, by the way, that nice. Uh, Very nice. It, it actually just started to work better. <laughs> no, I, I've noticed that um, the frame rate even seems improved. Because I know in the yeah. past I've been having some frame rate issues, particularly if I put lights in. And uh, so far I put a bunch of flags, a fair few lights, and I'm... I'm still getting a pretty dang good FPS right now at 1080 resolution. Yeah, we've uh, improved the way voxels are uh, uh, generated, the voxel mesh, and this is um, this this also means that even the shadow, the, the shading, the shadow calculations are more uh, are faster because it has less uh, data to. Uh, I have a shovel. I can make myself out. to shade because the the voxel that uh, the mesh itself is more simple all right so yeah all the tools now have uh, like you, you can see that they're they have durability and uh, in fact um, we fixed all the durability issues even with the seat bags where you were uh, and where you were, would be um, seating and would uh, tell you like no you cannot see it here but still take uh, the durability somehow oh that's all the, nice. dur all the durability issues have been resolved and uh, yeah, it's Kevin's Boris uh, digging with the pickaxe. Every every hit is now a carve. And the resources you get while carving are volumetric. So if you are carving a large volume of stone, you will get lots of stone. If you are carving a mixture of stone and iron ore, it will give you a mixture of both. Works. Bottom uh, one. All right, and every break is now just like a, not necessarily a whole bunch. I see. Ah, so it really it really does, like you just said, take into account what you're hitting. If you're hitting pure stone, pure stone, if you're hitting something that's mixed a bit, they'll give you less yes. stone and possibly even dirt. Very nice. And then, of mm -hmm. course, if people missed it, the shovel, you can't actually uh, dig stone with the shovel. And there's no way to place the stone voxels back down, even if you have mm -hmm. the pickaxe. 
and and actually the fact that it carves immediately now it it makes mining so much more fun you can make really fun tunnels and and actually it kind of it goes a little faster than it did in the past uh but and if nothing else uh, it at least feels like you're making progress instead of waiting for five to six strikes to cut anything e out. exactly it's no longer so grindy as it was uh to make uh make your mines or just the tunnels or if you want to make a in in the mountains you want to carve uh, like a, a dwarven fortress or whatever <laughs> you can go <laughs> ahead and, and, and do your thing but like it's it really feels so much better with the, the immediate carve and it, it looks so much better and, and the whole on, game experience like. is is like really more enjoyable which makes it uh, like really uh, um what's the word almost uh, painful when i have to go back to uh, zero four to test ne the next week's update because uh, i lose all of these cool things that we changed and so how like, far uh, speaking of that how far off is this update it's not very far. Uh, I, I don't want to give a concrete release date yet. Uh, basically, what we do is we give the concrete release date after we feel that we can... Um, basically, we make sure that the game is release worthy, and then we pick a release date that's in the future, so we can just polish it just a little bit more. Which is wise. You don't want to start this in issues where you give a release date and then find yourself not releasing. Mm -hmm. Exactly. But uh, it's it's not very far into the future now. So probably sometime within the next two months? Uh, no, way sooner. <laughs> <laughs> way sooner. Well, I figured to give you a range, that way you can surprise us all yeah, with yeah. a much no, sooner date. <laughs> it's, it's going to be a much sooner date than two months from now. Okay. Maybe two weeks? Three weeks? I'm not going to uh, <laughs> say anything more. Before I All accidentally right. uh, get myself into a, yeah. into a into a into a back back into a corner. All right, there we go. So oh, wow, yeah, it's is much much quicker. And even though I'm in creative mode right now, it'll still mine that quick even in survival mode. Yes, works exactly the same. Of course, I might need to put some of those uh, small carts down here for stone, and maybe make myself a pulley system to get the stone back out to the surface. But um, I did find quite a bit of stone there. <laughs> Um, I'm just thinking, I, I think we've shown uh, everything that the shovel does uh, a few times now. Yeah, I think that's about it. Um, only thing I have to say is, uh, well, I have two things to say. One, it is awesome. It works pretty well. Two, every now and again I do find a spot, like uh, you'll be seeing it in a minute in the streamers, it's just a spot that doesn't want to level out at all. Yeah. And when you find these spots, generally you dig some soil and you fill it again, and you dig it and you fill it again until you find. But what's actually happening is that somewhere under the ground, if you if you turn on your spectator camera and you go into the ground, you will find that there are some um, weird pockets of ah. non-voxel, and these actually are the cause for some of these problems. It's right, very, I see that. So if I would hold shift so I can dig past my leveling plane and then fill this in from down here, it might work better. Yes. There we go. Let's see. Spectator uh, again? You, oh, you cannot still got see one. those things in, uh, in, in the survival game where you don't have admin mode. But it it's a little finicky, but after some time you get a feeling for it. And... Um, I could see it with uh, the, the testers that they managed to get uh, really good results quite reliably after uh, a fair bit of like learning how to shovel. Right, and I'm assuming like the best way to figure all that out would probably be to um shovel. <laughs> shovel, yeah, that's one way. I was also thinking um just when you're l building up all of your terrain, try to build it all up sort of evenly. Don't build up one spike real high before trying to fill out the rest. Just try to yeah. evenly build the e whole exactly. area and uh yeah so if you let yourself fall through the voxels like this the generator will put you back on the ground oh wait so there's something fixed now so if you fall through it won't just send you into oh, the abyss that, that was actually fixed when we released the planets update the janitor has been with us for a long time now and uh he has actually been uh, updated to also remove stuff that leaves the planet's atmosphere and puts it nicely back either deletes it or puts it back on the surface if you are a player. So uh, do you have any concept art for the janitor? Because this almost seems like a god character you should be hiding somewhere. 
<laughs> right now he's just the invisible hand that uh, just prevents you from losing all your items when you fall to the ground. That's fantastic. That and we fantastic. call it the janitor. It's actually, uh, it's literally called the janitor. That is my new favorite character, even if he doesn't have a face. The janitor. I love that. <laughs> That's uh, just, you know, like it goes into the pantheon of uh, medieval engineers gods together with uh, Clang. And or, Clunk. Or Clunk. Clang and Clunk and the janitor. The janitor is the like uh, the the guy who's trying. He's to, the good one. Tries to maintain. Uh, he tries to maintain order, and uh, Clunk tries to uh, maintain chaos. Clunk things up. Exactly. It's like uh, the, the good versus evil. Indeed. Alrighty. Well, I think uh, that'll about do it for the stream. I've gone over the shovel. It's. I've made a mess out of using it, but it is very, very powerful. And the best demonstrations were over here, when I took my time and did slow little areas to build up. And you can <laughs> see, you can even place them on wood, so place them on pretty much oh, anything, my even trees. Soon out. I guess the battery died. Alright. Well, I guess that's it then. <laughs> Thanks a bunch, everybody, for watching. Uh, you probably can't even hear me, Deep Plum, can you? I oh. switched to speaker, so if you start oh. talking now, oh, there will be uh, some echo loop. Well, let's just wrap this up then. <laughs> Alrighty. Well, thank you everybody for coming and watching. Hopefully you like the new shovel. Look for it in um, probably under a month, I would guess. He says very soon. Definitely not two months. Very soon. Thank you everybody for watching. Deep Flame, you want to say goodbye real quick? Yes, thank you all for watching. I've, uh, I, I hope you guys are getting excited about your next update. And uh, keep an eye out and keep on playing. Keep on engineering. And... We'll see your creations on the workshop. See everybody. Bye. Bye-bye.